Hello everyone and welcome to a new GeoSense challenge. We hope. <laughs> Last episode, you seen a walk up and a find, and you seen us finding the one at the gate. Right over there. We came up the hill, we're at a clearing, and we're starting part two of our hiking on state game lands. This one is gonna require us going a quarter mile uphill on Blue Mountain to get another geocache, that's a traditional other, one and a half difficulty, two terrain. So it can't be that hard to walk up this hill if it's a two terrain. So we'll see what happens from parking. This is going to be fun. We have plenty of daylight left, even though it's late in the afternoon. <laughs> We're going geocaching. I like to say... How can that not be fun? How, do, how, late, um, how late does it stay light out now? Like almost 8 o'clock. Yeah, almost 8 o'clock before it gets dark. So Sweet. We got like 3 hours left, man. And after this one, after we're done here, we're going to go and do a, well, we're going to go and find a puzzle, a container to a puzzle that we solved. But first things first, geocache. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we did it again. Yeah, we took the wrong trail. We came up to the clearing where we filmed the opening. We found a trail. We started walking and that just kept climbing. Didn't take us anywhere over to the left side where we needed to be. Now we're gonna go back to the clearing and see if we can go over to one of these corners over here and see if we can find another trail or something that takes us towards ground zero. If not, it's going to be a quarter mile bushwhack. And I find that to be a little weird. We got a trail? Not as nice as the other. Well, let's see how far away we are right now. <laughs> We're 0.23. So going, going back to the clearing to find a trail didn't get us any closer. Well, now we're down to 0.21 where we were. So it looks like there's a chance we're bushwhacking. And we're going to be bushwhacking at least a thousand feet. So we'll be back. Today's geocache container. This is a small lock and lock. This is on the cache page as a traditional other one and a half difficulty to terrain. Here's the side profile. There's the back. It looks like there's a little bit of dampness inside. The Pokemon cards look like they have gotten wet, but the log is in a baggie and it's perfectly signable, which I did. Now let's show you three locations on where this geocache container can be. The file for the video of location one was lost. But that's okay, because location one was out in the open, right at the base of the tree, as you will see. Location number two, from a different side of the tree. You come on over here, and right down here in the crook of the tree, you have the container. It had a geopile on it. Could location number two be the correct geocache location. From a different side of this tree, on the south side, you have a Y here, 
you have a Y up there, you have a muggle hanging out in a tree. Location number three. Do you come up here to this Y? And then is it down in there? Could location number three be the right geocache location? All right. You see ground zero is this tree. Ask yourself, if you walked up out into this clearing and you were led to this tree, where would you look? Would you look in one? Would you look right over here in two? Would you go up here for number three? Or is it higher in zero? Remember this difficulty and remember the terrain rating. That will help you in determining which location this geocache was in. And as a reminder, maybe it's a good thing to always wear orange on hunting grounds because we just seen a hunter pass by on a trail wearing orange and carrying a rifle. Could be hunting all year long. Check your local listings and find out when hunting season actually is. We're thinking it's turkey right now. Yeah. So Some topless. we should be wearing orange. We're guilty. Yep, we just came through a thicket too. Yeah, we just bushwhacked. Us. We could have got shot at. Except for, guess what? Turkeys aren't gray. This color gray anyway. And this tall and make it as much complaining noises as I was, bushwhacking through where we walked. Okay, let's help you out. Time to get you to a 50-50. I'm getting rid of one. Hmm. Not it. Your turn. Well, unfortunately it's not zero either. Nope. It's too high. If it was higher in a tree, the difficulty, I mean the terrain would be higher. Now you have to ask yourself, is the one and a half two number two, or is the one and a half two number three? Well, here's a word from our sponsor. If you know a veteran that could use some help with their mental health, let them know about MakeTheConnection.net today. Visit my website, YouGotAFreadInPA.com. The home of the GeoSense Challenge. Welcome back. It is now time to give you today's answer. If you love climbing trees and you want to go up here and you want to search for the cache, guess what? No? no Wasn't no. up there? No, you don't. We didn't find it up there? We want to find it there. Or we found it in two, right? Because we found it in two. Okay. We didn't find it in three. Mm -hmm. We found it over here, around the corner, in Dos. I just came up here just for the fun of it. Yep. He came up there because we made three and zero. And not only that, because he said he could climb this. He said this cache would have been way cooler if it would have been up higher. Then he could have had fun climbing to get it. It would have been like a four or five. Yeah, the train definitely would have been at least a four if it would have been up there at the top. Well, folks, this is over here in two. Let's put it back and cover it up with the geo pile like I told you it had. All right, ladies and gentlemen, see the container in its hiding spot? Number two. You walk up and you look under the geo pile. You have a branch over here that's on the ground holding it up. And then you just put the geo pile on top and it's gone. And if you want, put a piece of corn there too. Because we're next to the cornfield. Well, folks, ground zero. See? You could have put it higher if you really wanted to. But the cash owner chose <laughs> not to. He kept it friendly for us non-climbers. But that's all right. We got the smiley after... A quarter mile of almost bushwhacking. Yep. That's how we do. I did not. Right. I'm a little scratched up, but you know what? 
battle wounds. I got my battle wounds. To, just to prove to everybody at work during the week that I was not at home on the couch. <laughs> and that's all that matters to me is that I'm out in nature, exploring, hiking, getting exercise, and, and thankfully happy not having to climb a tree that big. Well, thank you for watching. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe down below. And as always, take the GeoSense Challenge giveaway, get entered, and win a container. Maybe. Got to see how well you do on the challenge first. Happy trails, happy caching, and go get a smiley. Don't get discouraged. Keep trying. I'll see you.